Hi everybody. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well, happy, doing well. Um, I'm coming on today to show you guys a haul. I'll have to lift it up and show you. I went to my Goodwill again. Most of it's new. Barely any of it's used. I am so excited to show you what I got. The main reason I got it too is because I had a discount through Goodwill. You're, if you're in the program and you like earn so many points and then you get like I think 20-25% off. So I got 25% off of that. Woohoo! But the other main reason I wanted it is because it had a lot of the I love this yarn and I do love this yarn. And it's not so easy for me to get this yarn because only Hobby Lobby has this yarn and I don't have a Hobby Lobby store in my town. I have to go an hour away to go to my Hobby Lobby. The only stores around here that I can get yarn from is Walmart and the small Joann's that they put up maybe about two years ago now. I think the small Joann's. But I heard, and I'm kind of excited about this, is that some Dollar General sell yarn or hooks. So I'm going to have to check it out because they were building a building next to my bank and they never had any sign on it, like what it's going to be, what it's going to be. And the other day I was driving by and guess what? It said Dollar General. So I know some of you guys have gotten yarn from Dollar General or I don't even know if you got hooks, but I'm excited to see what this Dollar General is going to carry for crafts and yarn and other craft supplies might be kind of cool too. So I'm hoping they have some good stuff. I'll have to let you know. And if I buy anything, I will definitely show you guys what I get. So let's go ahead and start with my haul. I'm super excited. Half of this bag is definitely, I love this yarn. So oh, it is so soft. Like this is good yarn. I love this yarn. This is a white one. This one's just called white and it's from the, I love this yarn. Plus, you know, what's so cool about the, I love this yarn. There's always patterns, free patterns. Not all yarns have free patterns either. Oh, I love just the basic colors of white. And there's a black. I love this yarn. There is a gray, like a dark gray. I don't know if this one has a name on it. Let's see. This one is called gray. Is it gray bird? It's a dark gray. Then there is a light gray. Isn't that pretty? Let's see. Then they got this like peachish color. This is called light peach, like a peachish color. There's another white. It was totally worth it. I think there's barely any used skeins on this bag too. So it's totally worth it. Um, let's see. I think I got one more of, I love this yarn. This is red, like a darkish red. This one is called cranberry pretty red. Then there are a couple of these. I love these yarns too. These are called puzzle premier yarns. They're really soft too, actually. Look at the colors on this one. I love the colors. They're gray, pink, and purple. And I got enough to maybe make a blanket. Maybe not a big one, but maybe a baby blanket. Two of them brand new. Aren't they cool? So I got one, two of those. Here's another puzzle yarn. This one is some blues and greens. I don't know if it has a name on these or not. I can't seem to see the name on it. It says like color lot. That's all it says, so. I got three of those. Those are expensive by themselves. Um, I got some threads that I'm not sure what I'll do with the threads. Maybe I'll use them for like sewing. Then I got this really pretty like tannish color. If I can get it, it's kind of wound up between other things. So I got this like tannish color. I'm not sure what brand this is because there's no tag, but it feels like a lightweight three. Okay, let's see what else is in here. And then I got some more of the thread. Some more of that thread. More thread, blues. Um, this is kind of cool. This is like some sparkly blue stuff. I've never seen this before. Look at the sparkle on that. That's kind of cool. Then there is some of these. I'm not too thrilled with these. I don't really use these or make anything with these. These are those, uh, 
Botite um, sashi, sashi yarns. I got a couple of them in here. I don't know. Maybe I should put them over here because then I can put them in a baggie and some different. And then I got faux furs. I don't use these either. Um, let's see. Here's another faux fur. Blue Lion Brand does the faux furs. Here's another one of the sachets. This one's like Packer colors. Um, let's see. Then there's quite a few cotton in here. All the cotton I think is sugar and cream cotton. And there's a red one. There is a peach one. Let's see. There is a yellow one. Actually, I was just using yellow too. I was actually making, um, what was it? I was making, what do they call those? Uh, Oh my goodness, I can't think of the name of it. They're, um, oh my goodness, I can't. I can't think of the name of them at all. Candy corn, that's it. Candy corn, I was making candy corn washcloths with the yellow, the orange, and the white. I have one done. I like to kind of maybe make another one. And I've been working on those because I have a craft show coming up next month. So I have some more yellows. Actually, that's like more of a brownish yellow. Then there is some browns. Quite a few browns in here like this is a brown one here's another brown one um looks like there's some more peach some more peach ones i might have to put the threads in a bag and maybe those will sell too sugar another sugar and cream this one's more of uh off-white um, a pink one. That one's pretty too. Almost matches my shirt. Uh, let's see. And this is thread. And then I think there's some black or blue. Whoa, I just dropped it. Oh, there we go. I dropped it. I think it's a black. There's a black one. I don't know how many threads I had. I don't even know if I have enough to put into a bag to sell them or not. Oh, ooh, I forgot to show you guys a purple one. Purple. So I thought this was a good deal. Barely any of it was used. Um, maybe the threads were used more than the yarn itself and cotton. They must have had it and never used it. So I am excited to have it. Um, totally worth it. I'm excited because at first I saw it one day and then I'm like, no, I'm going to come back. Plus there was a sign on the door saying that they were going to have a member's day. They do that maybe once a month or every other month they do a member's day. And if you're a member, then you get 25% off your total. And that's what I went back the second day and this bag was still sitting there. And then that's when I got it. And then that's when I got the 25% off. So to me, it was totally worth it. It was normally, what was it? 20 bucks, but I got it for like, 16 maybe 15 16 i got it for so it was totally worth it for that amount i think it was worth it for that amount all right you guys thanks for watching maybe give me some ideas what to do i don't know if any but you guys use the sachet yarn or can you make other things besides this the scarves that they show on there if you do give me some ideas of some of the stuff you can make with it i don't really use the threads i actually might put the threads in like a bag and sell them as a bag thing. I have some other yarns like that that I'm going to put into a bag and then I'm going to sell them at a craft show for maybe other crafters who might want a bag of some thread or yarns. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of my channel. I love you all. Please hit like, subscribe, and we will put out another video again soon. Talk to you later. Bye.